tree up until the bottom hits the ground. After you get them to sit, hold the tree between your eyes, just in front of your nose for a little bit, and look. Good girl. So I'm going to show you how to do stay commands. So stay commands are really important, not just to keep your puppy in one spot when you're trying to go and do something else, but it also teaches your puppy a lot of self-confidence. They understand that you might walk away from them or disappear for a minute, but you're always going to return. So it's for self-confidence as well as making sure your puppy stays in one spot. When teaching stay command, generally you want them to have their back against a wall. If, if, if you're able to, it feels more secure if there's nothing behind them. And you just go step by step. So what we'll do, we'll come here down, turn around and sit. So we've already learned the sit command and you get her to look and stay. Initially, all you're gonna to wanna to do is take one step back, one step in, and then reward them once they've stayed. If your puppy moves with one step, all you wanna do is a tap. If they're good with one step, you take two steps. So we look, we stay, and when she's done that, she gets rewarded. As you keep moving further and further back, if they eventually break at say five steps, then you know you may have to stick at four steps for a little bit. If they're good with five, you go to six. Your ultimate goal is to be able to turn a corner and they're still staying and then you come back. So do it one more time. So we're gonna look, we're going to stay. Good girl. Good girl.